Hello everybody, welcome to this episode of Programming and Algorithms. In the last episode we looked at the if statement and we looked at how the if statement can be used for selection. In this episode I want to look at the idea of the case statement, which is a form of advanced if statement. So let's say we were, as an example, if we were doing a multi-choice question and we asked which is a force caused by either A in the earth, B eating, C gravity, or D a Newton or Isaac Newton is caused by. I think C is the right answer there. If we wanted to check what the user input using if statement, what we'd have to do is say, if answer equals A, then print that's incorrect, else if answer equals B, then print that's incorrect, else if answer equals C, print that's correct, else if answer equals D, print that's incorrect, else print out bad option or something like that. So if we had 26 options instead of four options, we can see that that wedge shape would be driven in completely by, by the bunches of if and then and else's. We see we can embed if statements within if statements. That's very nice, but too much of it gets a, bit, a little bit confusing and pseudocode does provide us with an approach that allows us to state this slightly clearer. Um, how it, what it says is we can have a case statement and it, the equivalent to what we've just seen is case of answer. A, print this is incorrect, B, print this is incorrect, C, print this is correct, or D, print this is incorrect, and other. So if they type in anything other than A, B, C, or D, we catch that in a good universal design kind of way and say it's a bad option. So the notion of a case statement is if we have multiple potential answers that a user can give, but they're within an expected range, then the case statement is slightly more effective than the if statement. Many languages implement it, some call it a switch statement, others call it a, a, a case statement. If we want to put that in as a program, as typically we'd put program, multi-choice question, the program title, colon, then we'd read in our answer, and if the answer is A, it's incorrect, if it's B, it's incorrect, if it's C, it's correct, if it's D, it's incorrect. If they put in anything else, we have this special word other that says it's a bad option. We could be kinder and say, I'm sorry, I think you've selected a wrong value. Do you wish to go back or something like that? And we close a case statement with end close. And in our case, we close the program with end and a full stop. So the generic form is case of value, option one, option two, option three, option how many other options you want and what statement or statements do you want to execute afterwards. If we looked at it as a flowchart, it would be um, our options would be represented as diamonds, our statements represent parallelograms. You pick one, it does that one, and then it comes out and goes to the end of the case statement. <laughs> Let's say you were, I, I wrote a program to, I knew what percentage result you got and I want to know what grade that is. So in, 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 in our courses, if you get over 70, it's first. If you get between 60 and 69, it's 2-1. 50 and 59 is 2, 2, and 40 to 49 is a third. Less than 40 and um, it is a fail. So we could print out as follows. Over or equal to 70, it's a first. If it goes into that, then it will finish. It will jump down to the in case. So if it's less than or equal to 60, that means it's also less than, less than or equal to, it's, it's between 69 and 60. I'll give you 2, 1, between 50, 59 and 50, we'll give you 2, 2, between 49 and 40, we'll give you a third, and less than 40, and, and it says, dude, you failed. And that's our end case there, and if we want to show that as a program, we give it a name on top, get grade, read in the percentage result, let's say you type in 55, it's not less than or equal to 70, won't do that one. It's not less than or equal to 60, won't do that one. It is less than or equal to 50, so it'll do that one. And I'll say you've got a 2-2. So thanks very much. We'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>